So microgreens are an immature crop between the baby green stage and the sprout stage. Sprouts are typically harvested with the roots attached and they're harvested a few days after germination. Microgreens can be harvested anywhere from 7 to 21 days after germination. And um, they are typically harvested with no attached roots. The difference between microgreens and baby greens is that baby greens will have three to four or more true leaves and they're larger. Um, microgreens have fully developed and attached cotyledons or seed leaves and um, they're only going to be about seven centimeters or two inches tall. So they make great addition uh, to salads or on top of snacks and dishes. So consumers can grow them pretty easily using recycled containers or even uh, trays like these. And so um, you'd like, you should start with a germination mix, a very fine germination mix. And then, um, let's see, I'll fill this up. And uh, usually the mixes you can buy from the stores will have a slight nutrient charge. So another neat thing about microgreens is they don't need fertilizer added to them. They just require what is already in the soil. There are lots of reasons why microgreens can be a great option for home growers. They can be grown in a variety of locations. Many of them uh, can be grown in really small spaces. They could fit in a home greenhouse, a well-lit windowsill, and there's a huge variety of options that home growers can choose from. From herbs like basil to a lot of the broccoli and arugula type of uh, crops that can really add a great zest to a salad or a dish and uh, some pretty good nutritional benefits as well. One of the great reasons that microgreens are such a good crop to grow in the home is because they can be a perishable crop. They are generally eaten fresh. These are not something that you cook. These can be used as uh, salad toppers or uh, used even on top of meat dishes after the meat has been cooked. And some people even eat them as entire salads. A, a broccoli microgreen salad can be a pretty excellent uh, dish, but because they are eaten so fresh, because they're so small and perishable, they're great. You can harvest them right before you eat them. No food miles at all. Make your soil as even as possible. And then um, when you're sprinkling the seeds, it's important to sprinkle them evenly and not cluster them. Um, this can promote disease and uh, make the stems very thin. So you're just going to want to sprinkle them evenly over the surface of the soil. Producers do tend to uh, seed them a little bit densely just to make good use of production area, but you do want to be careful of overcrowding your trays, especially for consumers using smaller trays. And then um, microgreens don't typically need soil over the top. Uh, you can use the plastic trays as your, as your soil. So you're going to want to mist these in. Simply cover and set in a nice warm sunny location and these should sprout within three to four days and you'll be ready to harvest within 14, about two weeks. Make sure to remove the plastic lid after germination so the seeds don't overheat in the sunny window. So microgreens are harvested at the first true leaf stage. They're typically only about two to seven centimeters tall. And when you harvest them, you're gonna want to cut them at the soil surface. They're not harvested with the attached roots. Microgreens are very delicate plants. So when you're harvesting, it's important to treat them delicately. Um, cut them at the soil surface using a clean pair of scissors. And then um, if you're growing them in soil, um, you may want to rinse them and then you can put them in an airtight container in the refrigerator for up to a week. 
Yes, I've done some uh, extension presentations introducing this concept to home gardeners, and it's been something fun that people have really caught on to. We have folks from Kingsport all the way down to Memphis who are growing some of their own microgreens, and in the winter or in spring and fall seasons when the garden is not in full production, this can be a great small-scale way to, to keep your fingers in the dirt.